Finding the right CNC router can be overwhelming, especially with so many options on the market. That's why I have personally tested and reviewed some of the best beginner-friendly machines to help you make the right choice. Each of these CNC routers has unique features, strengths, and weaknesses, and I'll break them down so you know exactly what to expect. Whether you are interested in woodworking, engraving, or even working with aluminum, this list has something for everyone. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the channel for a free cookie and more in-depth reviews like this one. Also, all the CNC routers mentioned in this video are linked in the description, so be sure to check them out for their latest prices and details. At number 6, we have the Fox Alien Masuder 3S. This CNC router comes with a powerful 300-watt spindle and a working area of 400 by 400 millimeters. It has an upgraded control board and supports offline controllers, making it versatile for different users. When testing this machine, I found it easy to assemble and very user-friendly. The performance was smooth, and it handled soft materials like wood and acrylic effortlessly. However, it struggled with harder materials like aluminum, requiring multiple passes for deep cuts. One of the things I really liked was how intuitive the software was. The included software made it easy to load designs, adjust speeds, and get started with minimal setup. Compared to the Fox Alien Masuder Pro, the Masuder 3S has a smaller work area and slightly less power, which means it is better suited for smaller projects. The Pros are strong spindle power, easy setup, and great software compatibility. The cons are limited aluminum cutting and minor vibration issues. In my personal opinion, this is a solid choice for beginners who want an easy-to-use machine with decent power and reliability, especially for woodworking and engraving. At number 5, we have the Genmitsu Prover XL. This router features a large 400 by 400 mm work area, an all-metal frame, and a high-torque spindle. It comes with an offline controller, making it great for users who do not want to rely on a computer all the time. During my test, I noticed how stable this machine is. It cuts smoothly, and the all-metal frame reduces vibration significantly, which improves precision. The spindle power is strong enough for both wood and aluminum, and the machine offers great upgrade potential. Compared to the My Sweetie 3020 Plus, the Genmitsu has a sturdier frame and better stability, which makes a noticeable difference when working on larger pieces. One of the standout features of this machine is its expansion capability. If you want to upgrade to a larger work area in the future, Genmitsu offers an upgrade kit, which is something not all CNC machines provide. The pros are excellent stability, strong spindle, and great upgrade potential. The cons are higher price and slightly longer assembly time. In my personal opinion, this CNC router is perfect for beginners who want a reliable and stable machine that can handle various materials with precision. The learning curve is manageable, and it is one of the best beginner CNC routers for those looking to grow their skills over time. At number 4, we have the Fox Alien Masuder Pro. This router comes with a powerful 300-watt spindle and an aluminum frame for increased stability. The work area is 400 by 400 millimeters, making it a good size for beginner projects. When testing this machine, I found the setup process easy, and the machine ran smoothly with very little vibration. It handled wood, acrylic, and even some aluminum cutting well, though aluminum required slower speeds. One thing that stood out to me was the detailed engraving capabilities. If you are interested in engraving signs, logos, or intricate designs, the Masuder Pro does a fantastic job. Compared to the Fox Alien Masuder 3S, this version offers a sturdier frame and better precision. The pros are solid frame, smooth performance, and good software support. The cons are slight noise levels and limited speed control. In my personal opinion, this CNC router is a great option for beginners who want precision and reliability in their projects while still keeping things simple. The build quality is impressive for the price, and it delivers consistent results, especially for wood and acrylic projects. At number 3, we have the My Sweetie 3020 Plus. This router offers a work area of 300 by 200 millimeters and a solid aluminum frame. It features a 500 watt spindle, which is more powerful than many entry level models. 
During my test, I found this machine to be very precise, especially with detailed engraving. It handled softwoods and acrylic very well, but cutting through thick aluminum took some extra effort and adjustments to speed and depth. The overall build quality is excellent, and it feels very sturdy when in use. One of the things I appreciated was the included safety features like emergency stop buttons and limit switches, which add extra control and peace of mind when operating the machine. Compared to the Ratmotor 3018 Pro Max, this machine has a stronger spindle and better cutting depth, making it a better choice for those who want to work on more detailed projects. The pros are powerful spindle, high precision, and durable build. The cons are smaller work area and slight overheating issues. In my personal opinion, this machine is ideal for beginners who need precision and extra power for detailed work, especially if they are working with wood and acrylic. It is well suited for anyone who wants to make intricate designs and fine engravings. At number two, we have the Ratmotor 3018 Pro Max. This router has a working area of 300 by 180 millimeters and comes with a 500 watt spindle. It supports both manual and offline control, making it a flexible option for different users. When testing this router, I noticed how fast and efficient it was with wood and acrylic, producing clean and detailed cuts. It handled aluminum cutting better than expected, but required slower speeds and multiple passes for deeper cuts. One of the highlights of this machine is its compatibility with different software options, allowing for more customization in projects. Compared to the Two Trees TTC 450, the RATTMMOTOR has a smaller work area but better precision for engraving smaller designs. The pros are high spindle power, offline control, and great accuracy. The cons are small work area and occasional motor overheating. In my personal opinion, this is an excellent CNC router for beginners who want a compact yet powerful machine that performs well in engraving and detailed work. It is a great choice for hobbyists who want to get started with CNC machining without spending too much money. At number one, we have the Two Trees TTC 450. This CNC router offers a massive 450 by 450 millimeter work area and a powerful 500 watt spindle. It is built with an aluminum frame for added durability, making it one of the best choices for larger projects. When testing this machine, I was impressed by its ability to handle a wide range of materials, from wood to aluminum. The precision was excellent, and the large work area allowed for more complex projects without needing to reposition materials. However, I did notice some minor flexing in the frame at higher speeds, which slightly affected precision on larger cuts. Compared to the Gen Mitsu Prover XL, this machine has a larger work area but slightly lower stability at high speeds. The pros are large work area, powerful spindle, and excellent precision. The cons are slightly bulky size and minor frame flexing. In my personal opinion, this is the best CNC router for beginners who want a machine that can handle bigger projects and deliver great performance with precision and power. That wraps up our review of the best CNC routers for beginners. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth reviews on CNC routers and other tools. All the product links are in the description, so check them out for the latest prices and availability. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.